Rivers. I'm volunteer coordinator and project manager for Hope CDA down in Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, we're working here today with OnStar for Miss Griffin at the home you see behind us. Um, the home was damaged five years ago during Hurricane Katrina and due to some poor wa waiver by the contractors, shoddy work, um, and also just years of deterioration from the poor work. Uh, we had to pretty much start from scratch with this house and as you can see we're putting new siding and going to be reframing the entire house. Uh, Hope CDA is a long-term recovery agency and we work with volunteers such as OnStar who come to the area uh, just to give their time and help us put these people's lives back together. There's still thousands of people that are waiting for assistance that need their homes repaired or rebuilt. Um, you can look us up on the website at www.hopecda.com. Come back and put the mold, finish mold aside on and paint over It looks the like there's a bit of rot that needs to be... Yes, we're going to take that out probably today or tomorrow. Um, what we're going to focus on today is doing some headers and framing in the bathroom in the back. Okay. So we can get that done and then we'll... We may do a little bit else. Um, I was gonna make y'all clean out the septic tank since y'all were late, but oh. I got a, a got a little piece of niceness on the oh, way over it's here. It's Sunday, so, so you can't. So thank you. I had a bunch of extra yes. those icy straws. I had enough of those that uh, we, we could have cleaned it out. <laughs> you said the icy straws. Oh yeah. my god. So I would need maybe one or two people cutting. Uh, a couple of people. Cut? Anybody comfortable with a nail gun? Oh yeah. That's like this. Yeah. Yeah, just stay out of my way. Yes. Yeah. I don't right, know how to use right. it, but I, I'm okay, so right. attracted to the idea. Anybody familiar with cutting wood? Anybody familiar? With the what? Cutting, cutting wood. No, I don't know if you show me. All right, well, I'll be, the, I'll be the, the measurer and the cutter, and I can get maybe two people start nailing in. Okay. And we'll try to get, finish that bathroom out over there. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready to cut out a window. We just go punch it out. And here's the finished part of the window that I just finished cutting out. You think I need your help? I'm almost no. fine. <laughs>
to eat you up. Oh, we don't want that to happen. No, we really don't want that. No, I ain't trying to get eat up. Okay, I'm not going to even guide you this time. Oh. I thought you said you almost 100% sure. Did I mean well, that was on that one. We're okay. on another one now. We so, didn't move on. So you trying to say I'm a professional That's and I right. got this. That's right. Quick, quick you study. You hear that? I got this. Quick I'm study. A professional. Quick study. All right. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Come over there. All right. Now take off. I'm going to kind of guide you. But you hold it tight. All right. I got it. Come on. So you're getting better every time. Something we all know about, talk about, and wanted to contribute to. Uh, so, what uh, has there been any challenges as far as going to these different? They're very different projects, from food to building to the use. Uh, they said they were working on a garden next. So what are some of the challenges? We haven't had any major challenges. I think our only challenge is that we'd like to do so much more and we would really like to give more time and to be able to even go to more places, do more things. And that for us is the only mental challenge is that we can't do as much as we'd like to do just time-wise and the fact that we are on a schedule. So we have to kind of keep moving. But in terms of physical challenges, we're fine. We, we can do whatever is needed of us. I'm shooting nail guns. Who knew? So we're, you know, we're good. Well, what are some of the, um, uh, what would you like to tell people, you know, this is all about getting people involved and showing that you can give time. What would you like to t say to people who maybe are busy, who are professionals and, you know, say, oh, I don't have the time to volunteer? Well, I would definitely encourage everyone to just make time. And I would also encourage employers to maybe have a day, have a day every month where during that work day, while people may have a lot of commitments outside of work, you have everyone there. Take a day during the week and just come with your employees and go lend your time, go lend your hands. It's not always about financial help. Physical help is really needed and really crucial. So I would encourage everyone, employers, employees, people around, just give time, make time. Thank you very much.